What up YouTube, Barcode here, bringing you another Air of Light video. This is going to be my second round of account reviews. I'm trying to go through them as fast as possible, but as accurate as I can. Okay, if you have more questions to your account reviews in the future, or if you want a more quicker account review, because I'm far, be far behind on these, there's a ton that are requesting account reviews. You can always jump on my stream and I will do an account review right on the spot for you. You know, depending if I'm in the middle of something, but I will get to it at some point in the stream. This will help you. This will help everyone else out and it's going to be beneficial to everyone. Okay. My streams are at 10 PM central on Twitch on Saturday nights. I'm also doing Wednesday night ones as well in the future. Okay. There are a lot of you that are asking about IPVP and it's this is top players or mid game players or whatever the case may be right I'm gonna take Supreme Man for example and this can be if you're in the same shoes as Supreme you can go about this okay now as you can see he has multiple level 70s 68s etc when you're talking about IPVP infinite PVP where it's all auto you have to think about a couple different things one is relations between your characters, right? So if you have Ishmael, right, and you need a Lenore to get the 100% HP buff, right? So if you're using Ishmael as your tank, you want a Lenore in there, okay? If you plan on using a Fire Enoch, then you want a Rem in there, right? That's one thing to think about in IPVP, okay? Now, also look into the marks right you need to really look into as many marks as possible it left for combos right and if this is getting skill i mean I want chain gear on a certain support then definitely do that but let's go ahead and check into like supreme and see what he actually uses for ipvp okay so ipvp right he's using ishmael so he has the Lenore for the passive, right? Okay. Now, he also has Zeta in here. Now, the problem with Zeta is you don't have a Blavatsky. Okay. And and that's fine because you have Anku in here because uh, for Lenore. Now, you're using this Ish Lenore. That's, that's your core, right? That's your core, obviously, because you're using a level 66 and a level 68 Zeta. I would honestly replace this Zeta with something else. And the reason being is, look at, um, there's nothing to combo Zeta into, right? Like, for example, if you could change someone on your team to be able to proc Zeta and his ignored defense on a combo, like someone fast, then that would be preferred. I would honestly change Zeta into someone else that you have. Someone that literally has like a down arrow, for example. Uh, because Lenore can do her thing. Or actually, I would actually do it. I see what you got going here with Anku because of the passive, but I would find somebody with an up arrow. A damage dealer with an up the arrow so let's just see what you have what I would do for you is I would take out Zeta and either put in water halo which is very common or fire Lucian now fire Lucian to me would be a lot better because she's a speed nuke and plus she has the up there up arrow and the down arrow okay now this is important and this is halo too he has up air down arrow. but so you have Anku right is obviously built for speed, right? They will proc off each other on combos. Okay, so the more combos you have, the more shields that are up, you know, the better, right? I would proc, I would I would definitely use Fire Lucian over Halo. The other big thing to note, if you're using, if you're talking about IPVP, right, is potentials. You wanna raise these potentials, like hardcore, right? Obviously, you can't. You already did with this. Um, you can't do the transcending for Nat 4s. It's only Nat 5s. But you are on the right track, right? D 
Defense ignore resist when intact in PvP. That is especially what you want. Especially for Ishmael, high defense tank, right? What kills him is ignore defense. So you want that defense ignore resist because ignore defense is meta, right? I would start looking into being able to change these, right? I wouldn't use the Abaddon Tower with Ishmael just because Ishmael doesn't have a sustain. So you're not going to over sustain someone in Abaddon. So this is one transcendence I would, I mean, potential that I would change out for you. Um, but you, you know, this one as well. Um, I mean, this last one is good, but I would definitely go into uh, defense, ignore, resist. And then if you can get a nice second one of, you know, all enemy DPS speed lowered or, you know, anything like that, that would be preferred. But the, here's here's another great one. So you have you have 40 percent right there. You want you want it in all. Of them. Trust me, this is a perfect one, right? Ignore, resist and uh, multi hit combos reduce, right? That's that's huge. So that is good, and that is something they should look for in all of your potentials. Okay, so now we have a newer player that is on my friends list who I requested, and that's Night Shift. So Night Shift is uh, just pretty much looking for a review, right? What he should kind of do next. So what I always talk about for new players, if you're a new player in this type of situation, right? You have these NAF 5s, don't know who to focus on, don't know where to focus on. Go check out my last video about daily, weekly, monthly routines, right? And then come back to here, okay? This is what I'm going to look for in terms of where you need to work on. First, you have an amazing tank of Water Carmilla. This should be your main tank going forward. As a secondary tank and a third and a fourth for your Floor 11 and Floor 12 Awakenings, then you obviously have tanks to work on. Ishmael, Fire Hide, um, and then you know you could you could really work on a fourth tank last. Um, you know, it, it could be Water Gracilda or whatever the case may be, or Fire Usher or whatever the case may be. Just a fourth tank that you only want to build up just for floor 11, floor 12. It's very easy, you can do a five star max level, right? Um, Knight, get out of here, okay? But Water Carmilla should be your number one focus, right? Defense, defense, HP, level up these. You probably have 50 million gold from the event. Just max them out, who cares if it's four star, right? The more stats, the better. If you're having problems progressing, max out your gear, right? Now, if you look into other things, like her passive, which is huge, but also a passive. So if you have an alley Archangel, HP increased by 100%. So definitely focus on nature Archangel for now, okay? Because he also has a passive which you can um, you can benefit from. And that's with an A Sphinx, if I can... Do you have one? I th thought you had one. But yes, you should definitely work on your Archangel. And that is the main reason, is because look at... Now, his passive, immune to defense, whatever, different element from your tank, which is fine, okay? This is a great three-man team that I'm going to show you for your level, right? For PvP, Water Karm, Nature Archangel, and then also Fire A Sphinx, okay? Now, Fire A Sphinx has AoE damage all the way through, right? awesome right it's your better fire enoch okay as you can see archangel gets a buff from a sphinx valkyrie gets a buff from archangel so those three and being all different elements is huge and once you get into potentials of having taunt on right at the battle start for carmilla which is uh i think it's around one of these the third one Transcendence, if you can get her transcended, um, definitely worth. Make sure to awaken Nature Archangel to the first level, right? So that you get this, uh, or fourth level, sorry, so you get these passives, right? Same with, same with her. No, no, not her, her, 
you want the fourth awakening and that's something it's a future goal right you're newer you don't have the supremes or anything like that but you can get there at some point so in that case you need to work on omen and hide and get the gear so that you can raise your cp get into awakening dungeons floor 11 floor 12 right that's what you need to do okay so let's work on that for example you need to work on four people team comps for the awakening dungeons and then your omen team okay now what you need to build is an omen hide team right to get the gear to get where you want you already pretty much have it right you have water Karm. this is your omen team water Karm. you have uh fire spiegel fire zeta and then you can do like water Alito, okay and that's because of the damage over time on the first and second skill you need to skill these up so that you get a higher activation rate but that should really be your omen team i mean you have it's it's a nature archangel it's good on water um but not on a fire dungeon obviously still might be okay but um i, I wouldn't do that but i would focus on those one two three four five right and then you obviously got fire illusion a which is great as a healer and a rezzer you could use an omen instead of maybe uh water Lido or fire spiegel right um you know it just depends on what is your faster time because you want faster times evolution there is a nat 5 tier list that you are requesting i like dark tier list um, pretty much for Nat 4 and above um, on the Discord. So definitely check out the official Air of Light Discord, and there is a tier list on there, okay? But I will help you out specifically with your account and, you know, kind of help you in towards which ones you should build. You're already starting with one great one, okay? And that is Leto. She's pretty much your farmer, right? You have her on Vampire, which you should because of her passive, right? So awesome. You're skilling her up. That's great. Mono element tanks are important, especially when you get into dungeons. So building fire uh, Lucretia is great because your main character is fire Lucian, right? Um, now, if ally Isabel is present, attack increased by 100%. So once you start awakening this to the fourth awakening, you get a more attack boost on top of that passive skill boost. So she's going to hit very hard, right? awesome awesome character so you can use Isabel here fire right she gives the reduce attack increases level 5 attack buff right so even if she doesn't use her second skill you can start off the fight with this so that level 5 attack buff is already included in this attack right so passes relationships they all all matter right um, a sphinx you don't have an a sphinx for fire lucian i don't believe i'm looking around i do not see nope i don't unless it's in your barracks so eventually you would like to use an a sphinx on your team right but if you don't you have other choices you have fire rem who is a awesome awesome tank okay especially when you get into potentials uh and then you could bring hide water hide who can ignore defense or do a ton of damage with a defense break um, but it's a relationship right fourth skill relationship increases rem's hp by 100 um, percent and then if you it, you know this a lot of people say that this um awakening skill kind of sucks but it doesn't because you can build straight crit damage and you don't need to build crit so it, it's an end game thing right you don't really need a Sinister for him. That's why it makes him good. Because you can get crit rate and subs. It just depends on the RNG of your gear. So, another good character. Obviously, Water Lenore is great. Especially when you get Dark Ishmael. Uh, oh, and you have a Water Hide here. So, you should definitely 6-star this Water Hide. Max him out. Then transcend your Water Hide. Okay? He does hit good. Right? Um, you also have Fire Camilla, which is great. You have a lot of fire. You need some nature characters, for sure. So be on the lookout for some nature characters. Let's see what kind of four stars you have uh, for nature. Um, you know, not so many good ones, but <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely need one kind of nature new one. Yeah, you could build Forest Enoch, 
for uh, high HP damage, uh, high HP bosses is what I mean. Um, so you could do that. Um, Father Hopkins is underwhelming when you max transcend it and stuff like that. So definitely something to work on. Keep going to Fire Enoch, you know, make sure to keep those, right? I already talked about them. But, you know, that's that's it's pretty much for yours. Um, Fire Halel is definitely underwhelming. Um, Fire Leto is just going to benefit you much, much more. Um, I mean, he's okay. He does damage on based off max HP, but it's, you know, you, you don't use him very often anywhere else, right? Um, but, yeah. This is, this is pretty much what you got going on, but make sure to check out the tier list and anybody in the same situation don't know who to build, there is a tier list on the official HOL Discord. Okay, so Lacan from Royals is requesting a couple different things. Gear optimization, how to get past the bad and hard 80. I'm gonna actually start cutting these account reviews down to just one goal because having multiple goals, I try to be as helpful as possible, but I'm uh, running out of time and a list goes on and on uh, with people that want to request. So what I'm gonna talk about for Lacan is the PvP team because um, he's looking what to invest in for a better PvP team, right? Um, what I have seen with his PvP team is he's using Ishmael currently. He's using um, Water Ace Sphinx, and that's probably for the passive buff for DPS class and the filling the combo up, right? And he's also using Lenore because it's the Ishmael Lenore, right, combo, right? For you, what I would end up doing is still because of where you are in transcendences and things like that and awakenings uh, you definitely need to work on your awakenings for sure I mean there you should be getting to a point when you have this many transcendents and stuff like that you should have at least one person maxed out with that a slot gear that a slot gear is a huge boost in everything okay so make sure to farm those awakening dungeons right that's the biggest thing I see with you now I would still for a PvP team I would still use Ishmael Lenore the reason being is that you don't really have anything else that can go with relationship wise with each other okay now um, Lenore um, what she would need is an ally Anku present to increase the attack by 100% okay now the thing with that right the only Anku you have is fire Anku, right? So if you, I you know, I would suggest building him and building him on a speed type of build. Um, if you wanted to use him for your third, right? Now, if you don't want that extra damage, right? If you don't want that extra passive, which eventually you should, if you're gonna use Lenore, right? Um, but what I would do, since you can't use Anku, you want to find somebody that has a secondary mark, like this, right? But has her primary mark, so she can just be doing as many ultimates as you can. Now, if you use Fire Anku, which is a great thing, because he has a down arrow. Down arrow. So, they, she can combo into him, but he cannot combo... I mean, he can combo into her, but she can't combo into him. So what you want to do is find somebody with the secondary mark for Lenore. Okay, and and with that, you lose out on the passive, right? However, what you want to do is make sure Lenore, she's your damage dealer so that HP, you know, Ishmael can have what he has, his 100% HP, right? So, I mean, you could go with Water Lido if she's fast enough to try to reduce the skill gauge of all the enemies, right? And if this also blocks the speed of an enemy, hey, little, 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 um, which, you know, a lot of people might not use often, but that's okay. Um, but what you really want to do is just find somebody that has that secondary mark that may be beneficial to your team, right? Um, you know, nature, Lido A, probably not so much. Um, let's see, you could do Water Blavatsky. Now this gives you a full uh, water damage dealing team, which can be um, bad, 
but it's very water heavy right now. So this is buff removal, right? When a combo skill lands as a crit hit, she's a speed nuker, right? So she's built for speed and you want to build her as fast as possible because all of her skills are based off of speed and damage. So if she goes like second skill cooldown, right? You build her like eruption or and like double chain or something like that, right? Eruption chain, proc the Lenore into the water Blavatsky and it's huge damage on a tank, right? Huge damage. So that's something I would look into for you for a PVP team. Okay, B Mobile on US as well. Just wondering what characters he wants to focus on. Um, open to spending a little bit of money, but mainly free to play, right? Uh, what I would do if I were you, because it's super strong, definitely focus on Water Carmilla. Use carrots into the rate plus up of Carmilla's. Uh, Carmilla. This, this is not a Carmilla. This is a Carmilla. This is a Camilla. So definitely focus on her. One of the best tanks in the game, if not the best tank, debatable, okay? Definitely work on that. Get the rate plus up. Try to get a total of this one plus five more for a level 70 transcended water Valk. It's huge, okay? Even if you get nature Valk and if you get fire Valk, it's it's fine because they're, they're all good, okay? But your main focus should be water valve. Try to try to get tr max transcendence before it's away. Okay, if it does go away, whatever the case may be. Now, on that note, if you are willing to spend a little bit of money and you get all of the Valkyries, right? Go into Archangels because of the passive, right? She has a passive when you get to Awakening Four. Archangels present HP increased by 100%, right? So work on Archangels, right? You already have the water one, which is which is great, okay? And the passive's awesome. Nature is really good. Any of them, fire is, Arch Archangel is good. Just someone to pack that passive, right? If you, that's if you're wanting to spend. Now what you already currently have, right? Fire hide, good, good tank, right? Good tank, no sustain though. So that's why water valve is a little bit better because of the passive, um, but uh, a great tank, especially against one shot, ignore defense champions, right? You need three shots to kill him until you get potentials. Then you need five shots to kill him, right? So definitely work on that. Fire Blavatsky, you're already working on the skill ups. Make sure to awaken to the first level um, so that your support class can go more often in the skill gauge. And uh, once, you, once you also awaken it up to the first level, you can get the 100% activation rate. So definitely work on that for your Omen team, okay? Um, you can also work, you have Fire Spiegel, I see that, that's great. Um, you can also work on, if you're going to use Carmilla and Archangel, as you see a Sphinx is present, defense increased by 100%. You honestly have one of the best three-man team comps in the game, and that's Water Valk, and this is regular PvP, Water Valk, Archangel and a Sphinx. Okay, now if you can get this Archangel in, you know, say fire, because that'll give you immunity for your whole team whenever, um, whenever the fire Archangel crits, and that's huge. That would be preferred. That's one of my favorite teams is Water Valk. Fire Archangel and Forest Ace Sphinx. Now, Forest Ace Sphinx doesn't get a attack buff because there's no Simone in PvP, but if you use infinite PvP, you have a team of four, then that's when you start adding a Simone into the mix, uh, which you don't have one, I don't think, which you don't, it's fine, you're still early game, but you have one of the best three-man teams that you can have right now, right? You could go ahead and do, um, instead of her, you could do a nature valk um, because you know if an enemy Lenore is present, which most of the time there is an enemy Lenore, the target's passive skill effect will be blocked, so she can't she can't be like she can't use her glancing passive. She, so you can actually hit her for your full amount. All right, Sky Forcer is considered as a super whale addition. 
that was self-advertised super whale edition okay looking for units for floor 11 all element dungeons honestly floor 11 dungeons right they don't hit hard you just need to make teams of four and for you i mean you pretty much have i don't know what you have in your barracks obviously i can't see what your barracks is but just make sure that they're meta type characters for one just to be safe um you know for melee i see you have dark charlotte already um you need to start awakening them even though you're super well if you're super well you might as well just spend on the supreme packs to speed up your progression progress okay you already have dark uh, charlotte cp so that's awesome right uh but you need seven thousand in melee so you have that 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 uh do you have one more melee over seven thousand no so you need one more melee for a floor 11 team right um for tanks you have water valk you have seven thousand there you have ishmael seven thousand there um you need two more tanks to get you over uh that that have over seven thousand right um so definitely work on that like i said i don't know what's in your barracks but it's very easy for floor 11. you just need 7000 cp on team comps of four of the same class you can easily get that done especially as super well but for you you need to awaken your characters my man you also wanted to ask what you spend your carrots on for you honestly the best thing you can do right now is spend all your carrots on like i talked about it just recently is the carmella right plus up Ray plus up kind of sucks, but if you're super whale, do it. Water Valk, best tank in the game. That's all the time I have today for account reviews. Next account review session is going to be on the EU server. So if you are an EU server and have already commented on my video, I will try to get to you in the next account review video but if you can comment again on this video that'll make sure i guarantee to get you um, but it's going to be all eu server next time but obviously if you're in any other server also put that down i might do multiple servers at once on the next video it just depends on that time um, but i am trying to get to them as as many as possible so thank you for tuning in guys and i'll check you guys in the next video peace